Hey guys, welcome to this video hashtag pink lipstick don't lie. How are you guys doing? Today I just wanted to come on here and talk about how to save a thousand dollars. So why did I want to do this video? I wanted to do this video because this was something I myself um, I decided to do recently. Um, I was preparing an article for a client of mine and as I was reading the research they had found that I think about 70% don't quote me on this it's been a while since I read the research but about 70% of people do not have a savings account of a thousand dollars um and the people that do so it's just about 30 percent of people and that's scary guys if you think about it that 70 percent of people do not have a savings account of more than a thousand dollars that is scary crazy scary crazy so um you know there was that and then i was looking at this thing that i i think i saw dave ramsey if you don't know who dave ramsey is he's a big personal finance guy and i was just looking at something that he had put up and he said you know the two things that you can do to begin to get your financial life on track uh to number one get out of debt and number two to um to actually have save up a thousand dollars in an emergency fund and these doing these two things will actually really get your fine personal finance life started you know it's going to be the basis of you building wealth for yourself and you know i was just like wow that's amazing you know i already um there are already things that i personally practice that have helped me financially things like pay my tithe um i'm a christian and so i do pay tithe um and that's 10% of my income. Um, I do um, give that as uh, to the church um, to support different projects that go on in the church. And I'm blessed and thankful that I'm able to do that. I have no complaints about it. Um, and so I, but I realized that, oh my goodness, I fall into that 70% group that doesn't say, that, that doesn't save at all. And yet I'm making f a decent income. And I think this is how come people can live and make six figures and make huge amounts of money and never really build wealth because they don't put money aside. They don't invest. They don't think beyond today. We just live in the moment. Um, and maybe you're even living, you know, right now, the income that you have is not six figures. It's not even $50,000. And you have all these little kids depending on you and you have everybody depending on you. And right now, even saving a thousand dollars seems so far away and so far fetched. But I promise that if I can do it, you can do it. It's not so far fetched to be able to save a thousand dollars. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, I'm not, a, so I want to also add in this disclaimer that I am not a personal finance, um, blogger and I am also not a financial planner. Okay. So if you really want financial advice, I really recommend that you go see a financial planner, see a financial advisor, certified for a financial advisor, to help you i'm just talking from my experience what i've been able to do personally okay so the first thing i started to do was to begin to put a little bit more money actually twice the amount of money towards credit card debt i don't have a low, whole lot of credit card debt i actually have less than a thousand dollars in credit card debt um but i wanted to buy the you know the end of this year in the next few months be completely done with credit card debt um and not have it hanging over my head because i do feel sometimes that it hangs over my head thankfully i don't have any student loans super grateful for that um um, but then the next thing was to set up that thousand dollar emergency fund. So right, so saving a thousand dollars. How do you do it? And the way I did it is a little convoluted, but it works. Okay, so I have three accounts. All right, I have my business account, I have an online savings account, and I have my personal checking account. All right, my business account. This is where I receive payments for my business. So all my freelance projects that I do, people pay me through that business account. My affiliate income from my blog goes to my business account. A lot of all the payments go there. Very, very few payments because of the nature of how some networks or some businesses work. They want you to give them the actual, you know, actual um, like checking accounts, um, routing numbers and all that. And so there are very few payments I receive to my personal 
checking account but everything else i goes into my business account okay and so i have my business account then i set up an online savings account and the reason i want to um hop on an online savings account is that usually you cannot touch your online savings you can touch it but the thing is that the online online banks or like ally or capital one three capital one has physical locations but not many but capital one three sixty ally bank what are some other ones there are a few other ones that are out there actually a fair number of them that are out there that are pretty good and they have like this um high yield savings accounts well those would be cds but they do have savings accounts where they pay you um some interest right even sometimes it's just one percent or 1.5 percent i think with capital one to 360 which is the one that i use i think it's 0.75 percent um, um interest and so you know your money's not doing anything but it's earning 0.75 percent interest if you're not gonna do you know it's gonna make you a little bit of money you know even if it's a dollar a year you know it doesn't seem like much but little drops of water do make a mighty ocean and so that online savings account because i cannot access it easily because if i go to the atm i'm gonna to have to pay two dollars and fifty cents or three dollars or however much that bank charges to withdraw my money all right it deters me from going to ATMs to withdraw money from those online savings accounts. So it makes it less accessible because I have to pay an extra fee. I don't want to pay extra fees. I don't like paying extra fees, so I don't do it. Um, so less accessible. Then I have my personal checking account, and this is where my rent, my food, my bills, my car insurance, everything comes out of, okay? And so now that you have you see my setup what i do is that every time so my paycheck i have i still have a full-time job and so my paycheck from my full-time job usually goes to my rent and all the bills and stuff like that then i take money from my business account i pay myself for my business account so my business account like i said i receive payments and i do business transactions with that particular account so anything i want to buy from my business it comes from that account not my personal checking and this allows me to keep track of everything so that at the end of the year I can render proper accounts for tax purposes all right um so but then if I want to pay myself because I, I have to be able to pay myself on my business right so I pay myself on my business and so that money that I withdraw from my business I put it into my personal checking account and then on the first of every single month I set up an automatic deduction to come out from my personal checking into my online savings account so I pay myself on my business okay paying myself for my business into my personal checking then automatically on the first of every month i take it out the reason why i put i made it automatic is because i don't have to think about it because you know something psychologists have shown that if you have to think about things right psychology shows us if you have to think about it then you can talk yourself out of it right and so you you know let's say that you decide that oh okay from now on i'm going to save 50 dollars every single month maybe this month you know when the, the your paycheck comes in you're like oh my god 50 dollars sounds like so much this this month i wanted to eat out so no i'm not going to save the 50 dollars and right there you are one month behind but if you make it automatic then you don't think about it so by the time you even go in there to say i'm going to spend anything it's already been moved away way into your online savings all right so make it automatic don't try to overthink it don't try to like blow it up just you know little bits of money automatically transfer to an online savings account that has an interest that gets paid to you hey you can't lose um and then keep doing that until you get to a hundred a thousand dollars um so it could be fifty dollars if it's fifty dollars that means it's going to take you about 20 months it could be a hundred dollars that means it's going to take you 10 months it could be two hundred dollars that means it's going to take you five months to get to that thousand dollar mark all right and so like i was saying before for a lot of us our paychecks by the time our paychecks come they like our bills our rent everything is taking the money away right so you the other things that you can do to also earn extra money and so in the next video what i'm going to talk about is what else can you do besides your job that you can use to start setting up your emergency fund because you can do that um and it doesn't always have to be go get a second job it can be a myriad of things without get necessarily getting a second job all right i talked about i've talked about a little bit about that in the video i did right here on how to start a freelance business 
And that is one way, definitely one amazing way. That's how I've been able to start my own emergency fund of a $1,000. Um, and there are several other things that you can possibly do to start making that extra income so that you can put $50 away, $100 away, $200 away every single month outside of your paycheck um, so that you can create that very first little nest egg um, and set your financial future to a good start. All right, so that is what I wanted to talk to you about, about today. That's what I wanted to talk to you about today. And I'm so grateful you're able to join me. If you don't already subscribe, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And there's a little bell right beside the subscribe button. You know what, you wanna click on that bell because then every time Mm -hmm. Every time I put up a video, you will get a little notification that says I put up a new video and you can come and watch and gain all this knowledge. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll chat soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.